In this video, we're going to be making a WooCommerce shop page in the Astra theme. We're not going to be using Elementor, we're just going to be using Astra. And we're going to be uh, starting from scratch, doing a step-by-step, -step, and then we're just going to customize a few other things with it with the customizer. So here's my site, mindfulimprint.com. And if I go to the dashboard, Go Pages, Add New, and I'll call this one my Test Shop. And over on the side, you see the Astra settings. We have uh, whether or not you want a sidebar or not, and whether or not you want it full width. That'll actually get rid of your sidebar if you go full width, or if you go... Uh, content box that'll uh, allow your sidebar we're going to leave the title so we can see where it goes we're gonna leave the breadcrumbs so I'll leave all of that as is publish the publish the page go back to your dashboard go to WooCommerce settings products shop page you have to tell WooCommerce where it is so select your shop page and save it now that you've told WooCommerce where your shop page is you can use this little drop down to visit store and you'll see the link right here the domain slash the page or however you set up your permalinks. So this is the link that you would use if you're building like a home page and you want to give them a link to the shop, then you would use this link here to uh, pull that up. You'll see I have a uh, three column set right now. So let's go to customize, WooCommerce. Now we're just going to customize our shop page using the customizer. Product catalog is the shop page. This stuff says do you want to show categories and products and the sorting. But right here this is where I'm going to adjust it to two. So this is the desktop. Two. And I'm going to adjust the uh, iPad to two and I'm going to adjust the mobile to one. I'm going to publish that. Adjust the number of products you want showing up. Say I go to 10. Publish that. All right, so this right here is where you get all of the information below the product. Right now I have title and price. You can adjust the, uh, what you want showing there. And by the way, in part two of this video series, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a little background color on this box with a little CSS. That'll be uh, in the next video. So you adjust what you want to show right here and to adjust the color and whatnot of these, you would go to Global Colors. And unfortunately, you have to change all of them. I'm going to be in my in my part two of this video, I'm going to be doing CSS for just this, this color. But this would be the H2, so you would want to adjust the color here for and it would change the headers for all of your um, headers and then it will also change no it shouldn't do it for the price so that's pulling from somewhere else so that's how you adjust the color and the typographies right here and again you could do all H2's here you go to heading 2 and then you choose your family. That will change every H2 in your site, so keep in mind. 
I will be doing a, uh, a little CSS adjustment to the box and the, the, this header if you want to do the second video. But I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And I'm going to check it out. Go to dashboard and reload it. All right, so you can see the two column layout works really well with nice photos. One of the keys to having a nice looking shop isn't just your developer skills. It actually has a lot to do with the mock-up images of your products. And I use Placeit. I'll use the link below in the description, but Placeit is, you know, one of the keys to having a beautiful site is, you know, nice photos for your products. And um, that's one of the really helpful tools you can use to uh, get your products looking well. We got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, so I got 10 products per page. And I did a two column layout. And then when you go to when you go to mobile, it goes to one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some CSS to adjust this box in the next video. So uh, be aware that's coming right after this. And uh, thanks for watching. More print on demand tutorials coming. Find some resources below and all that stuff. All right, thanks.